guys, it's Crypto Clay here, and today I'm going to be talking about a project from a company that was started by somebody that I've looked up to in the blockchain industry for a long time now, for several years actually, and this project is being developed and it still has a lot in the works so please don't take a look at this project right now from what I'm showing you and make your assumptions based on everything that I tell you and then as always of course do your own research after you watch this video and see if potentially this project that I'm talking about is something that you would like to invest in me personally I will be investing more into this project I invested a while ago um, a couple months ago but I will be investing more into this project after doing all of this research on it that I've done over the past few days so the thing that really got me interested in doing more research on this project was actually an article that I read and after reading this article I decided to dig deeper so let's just go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna be talking about today all right the article that I was referring to is actually on Hacker Noon and the title of it is Cardano Ethereum and Neo Killer or Overpriced and that bodes a really great question you know is it currently overpriced right now at 70 cents or whatever it is currently or if it is a Neo and Ethereum killer would that mean that it's very undervalued right now that's a great question and honestly, I think that this, this project has a lot of potential to go up in value over time. But that is only if they produce on all of their promises that they're making. So let's get into it. The first thing that I like to do whenever I look at any project on the market is go to CoinMarketCap and check out the current market cap of that specific currency. So right now it's at about 69 cents and it's number five on all cryptocurrencies so that makes it a 17.9 billion dollar market cap with 25 billion dollars 25 billion ADA coins in circulating supply this right here shows the graph of ADA over the past couple of months so as you can see coin market cap listed it on August October 1st October 1st and today is January 1st so you can see just how much growth it's had in just the past three months which is incredible growth but again that brings the question about is it currently overvalued like is this just hype that is drawing such a high current market cap so let's talk about what it is actually now before we can start talking about what Cardano is you have to realize that Cardano is actually made up of three separate entities right now the Cardano Foundation Input Output Hong Kong and Emergo. It says these it says there are three organizations that are contributing to the development of Cardano. The first is Cardano Foundation, an independent standards body based in Switzerland with core responsibilities to support the community of Cardano users and to work with authorities on regulatory and commercial matters. The second entity working on Cardano is IOHK, a leading cryptocurrency research and development company which holds the contract to develop the platform until 2020. The final business partner is Emergo, which invests in startups and assists commercial ventures to build on the Cardano blockchain. So, first of all, with any platform, I think it's important to separate and distinguish between these, these separate entities. You have these three entities that are currently building this Cardano blockchain, but they each do very specific separated things, and I think that's very important to do so. 
there are a lot of projects where it's literally just a developer or two that are saying, you know what, I'm going to develop this blockchain, I'm going to also market it, I'm going to do all of the research, I'm going to implement it, and essentially build it from the ground up, or they just take a copy of something on on GitHub and change the logo. You know, that's that's the status quo for a lot of projects in cryptocurrency, but not with this one. This one is very special. It has it has foundations that are currently doing specific pieces and trying to fit them together like a puzzle. So that's really cool that they're doing that. Let's move on. All right, so you go to uh, their page, like what is Cardano, and down here you can see the project Ouroboros and the Dallas. I hope I'm saying those correct because I have no idea how they're pronounced. Um, but essentially right here it tells you exactly what they're trying to do. Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project and is fully open source. Cardano is developing a smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed. It is the first blockchain platform to evolve out of a scientific philosophy and research-first driven approach. The development team consists of a large global collective of expert engineers and researchers. Now, all of that is true. Everything that I just read off is true. The people that they have working on this project are some of the smartest minds in the blockchain industry. So these are some of the leading people in the blockchain industry that are actually developing this right now. And as you can see down here, they've got these three things listed right here. So this right here is the wallet that will run Cardano. This right here is the protocol, the, the proof of stake algorithm that they're gonna be using. And this is actually the blockchain platform that's being developed for the network. So um, it lists those three things off. And as you can see, like I've got a lot of things pulled up right now. There is so much information on this project out there. And if you go to their GitHub right here, you can actually see just how much they've been working on this project over the past year. So this was the start of 2017 right here. And you can see that they were getting a lot of work done at the end of 2016, early 2017. They've slowed down a little bit for the holidays and such, but they have clearly been working their butts off all year long to make a good solid product. And, you know, a lot of people didn't even know that this project was being worked on, which I think is another really beautiful thing. They definitely didn't advertise this this product to a degree that we're seeing with some of these other cryptocurrencies that are just being blown out of the water because they're trying to advertise before they've even developed or created anything. And so that's one of the things that I really love about this project. Another thing that I really like is they have a weekly technical report. So you can actually go and read all of the updates every single week and each team that is on this project actually posts an update for the week so you can actually go and see what's happening with the wallet project right here what's happening with the core team what's happening with the block explorer networking devops tech support it's it's all really awesome that it's so transparent and they just tell you everything that's going on Another thing that is really great about this project is that soon they'll have wallet support from the Ledger Nano S, and so I'm really excited to be able to use this with my Ledger. Um, more things that are just really incredible about this project is that they're trying to implement uh, cryptocurrency support with the Ethereum Classic blockchain. So IOHK is not only working on Cardano, but they're also working on Ethereum Classic, and they're trying to create a bridge between the two cryptocurrencies. So 
that's another great thing that I love about this project because I've I've been a firm supporter of Ethereum Classic for a while now. For those of you that have watched my videos for a while, you probably know that I'm a proponent for Ethereum Classic. But more about this project is that it's going to be a proof of stake algorithm that's being used on this blockchain. I'm a huge supporter of proof of stake because it saves on power and it gives incentive for people to run nodes on the blockchain. It also is better for scalability, which has been proven with some of their studies and research that they've done on this specific blockchain. So as it scales, as more people join the network, it will actually scale even faster. And I think that's a really, really beautiful thing with proof of stake. For those of you that don't know the difference between proof of work and proof of stake, I highly encourage you to take a look at the difference between the two and what those two algorithms actually are. Um, now, with this proof of stake that they're creating, it's going to be a little bit different than the regular proof of stake that we've seen before in the blockchain industry. And again, I encourage you to do your research on this specific project. Ouroboros, I believe is what it's called. I was actually watching a video earlier on this specific proof of stake algorithm that they've created and it got me really excited to see uh, the launch of this specific protocol in their wallet because currently the wallet is so brand new that they they haven't implemented the proof of stake um, proof of stake algorithm yet for the wallet it's still in development, but it will be coming out soon, I believe, in the first or second quarter of 2018. So once, once you can actually use that in your wallet, you'll earn dividends, essentially, on, on your Cardano that you have in your wallet. So I'm really excited to see that. Not only that, the CEO of IOHK, Charles Hoskinson, He's the person that I was talking about in the intro. Um, I've always been a very big fan of his. He's very down to earth and he's willing to talk to anybody about his project. And he has been one of the leading researchers in the blockchain industry for years now. He actually did a TED talk a few years ago that I really love going back and watching every now and then talking about blockchain technology and how it could potentially disrupt the future of economics. And so I, I highly encourage you to go and take a look at that if you've never seen it. He's a really brilliant mind and really down to earth, really mellow, and I think that he's doing a really good job of running this project. I think that this project has a really great future moving forward and I'm about to play a clip of an interview that he did with Crypto Omar Bam on YouTube a few days ago where they were talking about this project and I'm going to give you an example of why I really like Charles and why I think that his project is going to do well and it's based on a question that was asked from the audience of that live interview. And the question was, what do you think are the differences and similarities between EOS and Cardano? And he answered it extremely well, in my opinion. I think that he handled the question really, really well, and I really appreciated his response. So here it is, guys. Charles. So everyone is dying for a comparison from you. Breaking Elegance asked uh, you to compare EOS to Cardano. I know nothing of EOS. I've seen a white paper. I haven't seen any code. I have these people who come to my Reddit tell me EOS is the second coming. Um, when they release something and we have the time to go through due diligence, I'll have an opinion about it. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical about their claims. And also, I don't think they fully thought out everything that they claim they have. 
but you know, it is what it is. And uh, I'm also a bit dubious to a venture that raises a billion dollars. There is no reason to have that kind of a capital base. You can't spend it. Uh, you're, it just corrupts your entire view of reality. Your salaries go up. None of their work is going through peer review. I don't see any research centers. Maybe they'll set them up. I don't know. But this, I think, is the moral hazard of the space. People aren't getting what they need. They, they get what they can take. We saw it before in the dot-com boom, you know, where people would do an IPO and they grab a huge sum of money. Uh, and it wasn't about capitalizing the company and building a real product. It was just about getting as much as you can, right? So anyway, I'll have an opinion on it when I see it. I'm a bit dubious to it because uh, just to the claims that people who have come to my Reddit have made about its performance and what it can do. Uh, and I think it'll be your standard Dan Larimer project. There's going to be uh, some things that are brilliant. Like Dan Larimer came up with DPOS and Dan Larimer came up with a lot of things. And you got to give him credit for that. Uh, some of it will just be a little wonky. Like you know, Dan Larimer also came up with big USD and steam dollars and these things and don't quite work as intended. And some of it just be downright wrong, uh, you know, and there's a history there since bit shares to Steam and now with EOS. And I hope that EOS does have some good ideas in it because we can learn from them, just like I hope Tezos has some good ideas so we can learn from it. Because at the end of the day, everybody claims to be open source and everybody claims they want to work together. So let's test those ideals and let's test those beliefs. And I hope that uh, we can gradually get to, uh, get to, you know, that city on a hill where we're living in a decentralized world and we don't have to you know, live with our banking overlords. Okay, so beyond all of what I just talked about, there is so much information out there on this blockchain project and there are a lot of projects out there that don't have this much information. They, being Cardano, they want you to know everything that's going on with this project. They're very transparent. And with what Charles just talked about in that clip there, he wants everything to be open source. He wants all technology to be open source in, in all of blockchain. And so I really, really appreciate what they're trying to accomplish here, and I highly encourage you to go and do your research on this project and other projects that are similar to it before you invest. For those of you that aren't new to the cryptocurrency scene, but you haven't taken a look at this specific project, I really encourage you to do so. That's going to be it for today though guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciated today's video and the information that I gave. If you would like any questions answered about this specific project or any other project, I'll be glad to answer them the best that I can. That's going to be it for today. Crypto Clay out.